about some mini Tyrell. Found, found some problems. <laughs> mini Tyrell. You know, <laughs> how come everybody finds problems after practice? Have you noticed that? No, no, it wasn't. I'm not saying I've it's had, oh. I'm just saying from last, oh, last season. Oh, oh, oh. I, well, I always say it. Like, I'll be like seventh in practice. But, oh, we figured it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to be good. And, I, you know, my biggest pet peeve, and I talked about this, is when people ask, they come up to you, no matter if you're 25th or 1st, and they're like, how's your car? And then it's like, what are you going to tell them? It sucks. I mean, you're never going to tell them that. You can't tell them that. Yeah, like, yeah, you got to be positive. I'll be like 28th it, you know? on the board. I got a good car. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's not bad. You don't figure it out in the race. Hey, look, if Carson Quabble could drive from 18th to late and win the race, anybody can do it. Hey, I spun there, out and went to the rear and came back to second. Right? And then, I mean, look, I was up there until I drove it off out of four and clapped the wall. So, I mean, it is what it is. But, you know, it just. Many uh, hit the mini, mini track wall. Many, yes. Many, many, yeah. many. Many did a mini. Many did a mini. Yeah. <laughs> back season two episode one i call this. i call this the redemption tour but welcome back to the buttermean experience hi friends we are at we missed you yes we missed you been a good off season hope y'all had fun um it is race one here at southern national it is friday but tomorrow we're not racing it already rained out so we will race on sunday day and if you remember what happened the last time we raced on sunday here We got a turkey. So hopefully we can uh, redeem ourselves here and um, have a good start to our cars tour season. We kind of didn't finish good here to start it last year, but I think we'll be better. And uh, we just had a ride down here. Nicole slept the whole way. I slept half the way. But I'm ready. Got the LPP hot rod ready to go, and um, it's going to be fun. There's my boys right there, Jimmy and Marshall. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're going to have a good time and super excited to get going. Um Cars Tours got a new sponsor. Um, we got a new sponsor for this race, Folsom Fence Supply. Uh, changed the car up a little bit so I can get my diecast deal done. So we got a boxer dog in memory of Cross on there. It's gonna be a good weekend. Let's do it. finished up the boys are getting her dialed in for the race on sunday we got a pretty good car we were top five most of the day and got a little bit off with the tires but i think um we'll be uh in business come sunday it's just uh, a guessing game really these are new tires for us a little bit harder than the ones we ran last year but got the 03 looking good our new sponsor for some fence supply and uh brc leaf cars on the hood trd toyota camry be ready to dig uh, on Sunday for a little day racing. So uh, I got all the confidence in the world in this uh, LPP O3 team and looking forward to Sunday. First day of the year, um, we got Kevin. Hey, we got T Rex. We got Big Daddy. Big Daddy's back here. <laughs> Welcome back to the Buttermean Experience. It is race day. We are lined up to qualify. Where we go? What are we gonna run? 15. That'd be a nice lap. 55. There it is. So we got a little bit of a tenth and a half difference. Uh, got my man I'm Rob playing. with Flo getting the GoPro in for the Buttermean experience. So a little bit of a crisp day. We do got some merch outside with our merch trailer and Folsom Fence Supply, 03 Toyota Camry, ready to roll. Ready to hit victory lane later on this evening. And a Waffle House and starting waffle here. House. I'm getting real hungry on it though, for this off season. I ain't, waffle, had a waffle, I ain't had a Waffle since, you, all right, first off, I ain't had a Waffle since November and you lost 20 pounds. Yeah, because I ain't had Waffle House. I don't look like you lost 20 pounds. Well, maybe. It, okay, whatever. T-Rex is back. There we go. 
My bad, I didn't hit my, hit hey, my walk. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Welcome, uh -oh. welcome to the Butter uh -oh. Experience. We call this the Redemption Tour Season 2. The Redemption Tour. I got enough gas this year. I, I definitely need some redemption as well. I think uh, I think we got a good high ride today, so we'll see. That's uh -oh. mini Tyrell. <laughs> Wilkesboro Speedway, the same track that he won a Cars Tour event at a year ago. His first lap, his second fastest, and he's just 24 one thousandths of a second to try and capture yet another pole for the time being. Is he going to be able to do it? Yes. Chief starter Brandon Willard is going to give the one to go signal. We are a lap away from getting 2024 underway here at Southern National Motorsports Park. The field will be in the hands of Chad McCombie through the Death Wish Coffee Start Zone and the 2024 season in the Kevin Says Yes.com 125 is underway. Nobody, nobody nailed right here. Okay. time in 2024, Eric, the shitty cooler's caution has been displayed here at Southern National Motorsports Park. Uh, so I had to turn the radio panel and when Pete was chopping me, that didn't help my tight, but like, I just go into three in the right front, just wide, and then I can't wrap, can't get off the brake, and then I have to get in front of the tight on gas when I'm trying to run up under somebody and I can't, I can't get off the corner of it. No front, no front turn. Hendrickcars.com pace car has left the speedway through the Death with, Coffee, Death with Coffee restart zone. We are back underway at Southern National and once again... And now there's trouble. Multi-car spin in turn one. Whoa. That is Gavin Boschel who has gone around. And another car hard into the wall in turn number two. And I believe that is Andrew Grady who has ripped the left side of his race car off. Up 
First time we've seen him have some trouble. This is off of turn number two. Yeah, he did go fully around. Great job by McCarty to miss it. See some damage that he's leaving behind there in turn two. They'll have to pick up some of that debris. Yeah, Butterbean fully around in front of Katie Hettinger. Five, count him six laps to go here at Southern National. What a day. It was a rough day. Um, we were just missed it. Uh, tire didn't work out for us, and uh, we struggled inside the top 10 most of the day and put ourselves in a bad spot. Got turned around and uh, finished. I don't even know where we finished, like 21st or something like that. But um, I know we'll, <laughs> we'll go back to work and be better for Goodyear. But sucks. I kind of got back to like 17th or 18th and got – punted on the last lap for no reason by the 90 so that was uh very very frustrating but considering i hadn't touched him either so i don't know what i was about but we'll uh we'll rebound from it we're out here leaving southern national going back to the 757 and um man we're in a hole but we're gonna dig out of it it'll be a, a long long season a lot of racing left but you know what we never give up and uh huge thanks to Folsom Fence for coming on board for this race and we look forward to um, getting back at it at Goodyear here in uh, two weeks.